Welcome! In this video we are going to show how you can transform your Android phone into an almost one-to-one -one iOS clone, going from this to this completely for free. We will cover how you can apply an iOS system launcher, install an iOS keyboard, gain an access to the iOS emojis and get yourself a dynamic island without spending all your pocket money on the latest iPhone. So, in the beginning, you will need to launch the Google Play Store app on your phone and look for the specific app called Launcher iOS. Once the new iOS system arrives, it changes those last numbers into to match the latest iOS system. Currently, it is iOS 17, hence the name. Now let's open the app page and get this app installed. Another tool that you would need to obtain is called the Green Apple Keyboard. So let's find this app and get it installed also. Here we have the Launcher iOS app, so let's open it. This is the free app that has some paid functions, but for the sake of this video and well, for the sake of overall simplicity, uh, we will not obviously be paying for those uh, extra premium features because the free uh, things that are available free of charge are good enough. So here, select your language, hit the done button, then read all those introduction, uh, well, layouts if you're interested, and then start. Let's tap on the screen. Now, in order for this whole uh, endeavor to work, we will need to set the iOS launcher or launcher iOS app as our preferred or default system launcher. So let's tap at the set as default button. Here select the launcher iOS 17, then grant it with all the necessary and essential permissions it requires. So let's go into the uh, launcher settings and well, apply even more iOS stuff here. So skip the ads. So what else do we have here? We can also set up the iOS like lock screen. So let's download the lock screen iOS module as well. Open it. Skip all the ads, select language, close the ad once again, and here switch on the lock screen iOS by toggling this feature here. Before we can do that, we will need to grant it with all the necessary permissions, so let's do that. Find the device and app notifications, or I mean, inside this list find the lock screen iOS and grant it with necessary permission. The same goes for the uh, following permission, that is phone, and the following, that is access photos and medias, and this one as well. The accessibility also make sure to enable this permission for the lock screen iOS app. Now we can get back. The well, iOS lock screen should have been set up. Now it is enabled, as you can see. Let's get back to the launcher iOS app. Here you have options and settings you can play with and you can change to uh, tailor the system to your custom and personalized preferences. Now we have the iOS system launcher here. Let's get back to the home screen real quick. Yep, here it is. That's what it looks like. And we also should have the iOS lock screen. Yep, here it is. As you can see, the flashlight works just fine. The camera shortcut should also work just fine. 
or yep so here it is in order for this double lock screen to go away as it is in my case you'll need to go into settings and then in the security category screen lock set the none option and now we shouldn't have this uh, Nokia lock screen getting into our way. Yep, as we don't. The last thing as for the iOS launcher that we need to set up or, well, optionally, not that that is mandatory, of course, uh, but uh, this app, this app also allows you to set up the dynamic island as well as I promised in the intro of this video. So once again, launch this app here, tap at the dynamic island iOS 16 download this app here launch it once again we will need to provide this app with all the essential permissions for it to work so let's do exactly that Then uh, switch on the enable dynamic island toggle and we'll need to grant it with all the necessary permissions. So starting with notifications, so allow. Then the same accessibility permission, well, this one is enabled, here you have it. And then ignore the allow it to ignore the battery optimizations. Now switch it on once again, and we have the dynamic island now. I mean, this particular Nokia fo Nokia phone is not the best example to show it on, since we have this annoying notch or bezel here. But uh, more modern or more recent Android phones usually do not have this notch like that, so you'll probably be just fine. So. As for the launcher and system that should beat, now let's also get ourselves the iOS keyboard and emojis here. So, because that's the keyboard uh, that we have currently. And it, well, for me personally, it does not look trustworthy. So, I mean, not that keyboard, keyboard, there is something wrong with it, but on the topic of transforming our system into an iOS, uh, kinda, or just making our Android smartphone look like an exact copy of uh, an iPhone. This Gboard keyboard doesn't fly. So anyway, let's launch the Green Apple Keyboard app we have installed previously. And here, in order for it to work, we also will need to grant uh, the uh, essential permissions to it for the keyboard, that's the Manage On-Screen Keyboard, so allow it or enable this permission. Then the second one is uh, selected as preferred input method and we are all set now if i were to uh, launch the keyboard that's what this keyboard looks like like an exact ios copy and if you'll open the emoji section you'll also see that all the emojis are also from an ios rather than regular android and nokia emojis if you would like to go even further you can also uh, get another app, just open the Play Store. Uh, the app's name is Control Center iOS, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, so Control Center iOS 16, here it is. Uh, let's see. It's actually better if you'll go with this app, that is Control Center iOS as well, but from the app's Gen Z developer. Since that's the same developer we've gotten the Launcher, Dynamic Island and Lock Screen app from, so I guess uh, they will interact with one another better this way so it's just uh, i think it will be easier for you to go with the same developer once again so let's get this app installed real quick launch it and the procedure should be absolutely the same just grant the app with all essential permissions and then enable it so we, here we need to consent with the terms and, uh, I mean, terms of service and all other regular app stuff. 
Once again, select your language. Agree to the terms of service and privacy policy once again. Start. Skip a bunch of that uh, while you are on the way, obviously, but well, that's the downside of not paying for things. You'll need to look at a million of ads. But that's the sacrifice that is worth taking, if you ask me. Anyway, here, tap over, over there. As I've already mentioned, granted with all the essential permissions. So, control center, enable, allow, then get back, switch it on. And now we should have the iOS style control center as well. So let's wait until it will optimize itself and do its diligence, close it. And that's what your control panel is going to look like. Or actually, before we can fully use it, we'll need to grant it with probably a few other uh, permissions. So, well, what happened? Yep, so here it is. So yeah, you'll probably, uh, it will take some time for you to figure this stuff out and see how many permissions it needs to work fully and properly. But I mean, that's the, that's, if you ask me, nothing to worry about. As you can see, the brightness is being changed. I don't know, the sound is being changed also. Orientation lock is also now works as D&D mode. Now let's, I don't know, open the settings from here and it also works just fine. So as far as this video goes, that will be it, guys. I highly appreciate your attention. If you have any questions or suggestions, do not hesitate to use the comment section below this video. We read all the comments. So, yep, well, definitely notice yours. So as for now, Thanks for watching and bye-bye.